Hey guys, so I did my makeup today for uni and the bus never showed up so I'm gonna do a video while it's basic lighting and just pretend that today's going well. I'm sorry if the camera is shaky as I, I'm literally holding my tripod between my legs. Um, so as I talk it's moving. I'm sorry my skin is so crap recently. I need to work out the tea trail, I know. Um, so one of my most frequently asked questions was how do you start pen palling? Because obviously it's sort of a niche hobby to have. I know that it's like something that I'm quite like, huh, I pen pal in real life, lol. Um, like if people ask me what my hobbies are. So I thought I would do a video today just on how I got started, how you can get started, how to meet people, what to put in letters, basic stuff like that. I'm sorry if I keep looking at myself because my skin is horrendous. Um, so how I got into pen palling was I used to write to this old lady who went to my church when I was a kid and she was really lovely. Her name was Brenda and she still sends me Christmas cards sometimes and I absolutely loved writing to her, sending her doodles, sending her like cute little envelopes that I'd made. Um, and I thought, oh my god, I've always wanted a pen pal from another country. So I went online, I went on Tumblr, the Tumblr tag for pen pals. Um, and obviously people post their profile of like who they are, what they're like, where they're from. Um, and I popped up to this girl. Uh, I popped up to a few girls. Uh, and I was like, you know, do you want to write? You said you did. So um, I started writing to them and I didn't. Like, I saw pictures of, like, hashtag pen pals, hashtag craft, and all of this, and I was like, I want to be like that. But my envelopes in the beginning were quite crappy. But I had pen pals who, like, really went all out, would send washi, would send stickers, would send teas, would send postcards, and I was like, I want to be like that. Um, so I did. And then we all lost connections because people started moving to uni, we're all about the same age. People started moving house, people broke up with their boyfriends, etc. Um, so it's just hard to keep track of everyone. Everyone was going through sort of a tough time. Um, I had about five pen pals and managed to lose contact with all of them, especially once I moved house. I sent out my address, but no one really got back to me. Um, yeah, and I missed it and I've always had a huge craft collection. I used to make cards, I used to sell cards, I used to make cards for my mom to give to family members, birthday cards, Christmas cards, Valentine's cards, thank you cards, everything. Um, so I had a huge craft collection. And then because I did, I had like this reputation for being the person who like gave out handmade cards to her friends for their birthdays and all of this or like, um, so my best friend, Rachel, my oldest friend, she, I've known her since year six. So this year is our 10 year friend anniversary, and her family are like my family. Like I used to go to all their family events. I'd go to all their family parties. I was best friends with her aunts and everything. Like they're really lovely. And one of her aunts used to make cards. And one day, uh, she decided to give it up. I think cause she had an operation or something. She gave up the hobby and I got bags bags of supplies bags of craft papers stickers embellishments um just loads of stuff and it really kicked off my craft collection um and I got into bookstagram again I got into bujo as in the bujo tag like bullet journal tag um and yeah I just got interested in writing again and um I really missed all my pen pals because we'd written for like a year and at this point I was going through some hard stuff again and I was like, oh, I used a pen pal. So I got back onto it and I uh, I used an old account because I used to have a bookstagram with about a thousand followers and I know that people on bookstagram follow that sort of thing. So I just deleted all my posts and started again, which is how I have a lot of followers. Um, but half of my followers are from this account. Half of them are from my book days when I would review books and stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, and I think I also posted a lot of my animals on there as well. 
Um, so, yeah. <laughs> That's my story. Um, so how you can find a pen pal. God, we're all, already five minutes in. How you can find a pen pal. If you want to start pen paling, the best place to go is Instagram for sure. People always post hashtag pen pals wanted. That like if you go to the posts that literally say pen pals wanted on the post, you will find so many people. You can find people in your country, people in other states, people all over the world will be asking for pen pals. You'll find them very easily. Just send them a DM or a comment and be like, hey, I want to be a pen pal. I'm this age, I like these things, this is my name, if you want to write to me, blah blah blah. A general rule that I keep is if I pop up to someone and ask them to be my pen pal, I write first. If they pop up to me, they write first. It's just common courtesy. It's really rude. I've had a lot of people pop up and be like, write to me. And I'll be like, excuse me? And they'll be like, write to me. Uh, I'm in Russia, for example. Um, write to me. And I'm like, okay, that's a lot of postage. I don't have a lot of time with my other pen pals. Um, I do now because the post has slowed down since Christmas, but back then it was just really rude. I found it kind of condescending. They treat me like trash. Be careful. I've had people who like I've sent loads of stuff to and then they've sent back either nothing or have said, I'm sorry, I can't reply because I don't have money and they just won't reply ever. I've blocked someone because of that. There was a lot of drama surrounding it. Um, yeah. Don't involve yourself with people who aren't, like, already in the community. I'd say if you're just starting off, when you really get into it, you can gauge what people are like, gauge what their uh, expectations are. But when you first start off, definitely find someone who has, like, a running pen pal account. Because they will help you. They will help you find other ones. A lot of my pen pals write to each other. We're all, like, one big family. We all write to each other. It's really cute. Uh, we're all friends. Um, yeah, so if you want to start pen paling, definitely go for someone with experience because they'll be able to help you out. Um, they'll give you inspiration. Um, they'll hopefully be nice. Um, yeah, so that's my first tip. Or write to someone who's never written before and get to know each other. That was my first pen pal. We'd never written to anyone before. We were both each other's first, slow. Um, but just be careful, be cautious. Um, obviously, it requires a certain amount of trust. You can send it to post, uh, like to PO boxes or to your uh, local post office, but I don't have an issue giving out my address because I've done it for a long time. I checked with my parents beforehand. I feel safe doing it. A lot of my pen pals are girls around my age who have done it for a long time, so yeah. Um, so you just do it. Lots of people ask me how I know how to start writing to someone. It's experience. If you've never written to someone before, if you've never experienced the really crafty side of um, pen paling, can be hard. So I'm going to give you some ideas. I'm going to give you some ideas. Um, and it's just going to be me talking to you and you're going to be like, please shut up. But um, yeah, so... As a general rule, I always include a washi sample and some stickers just because it's such a big thing. It's such a big addiction in this community. Everyone loves sharing their collections. I have almost 200 washies. I bought a lot today um, and some are arriving. So almost 200. I probably have about 190 at this moment. 180 because I just got a set. Um, but I always send washi samples. I'm not saying you have to have a big collection. I'm not saying you have to have loads of stickers. I'm not saying you have to send anything. Do not feel obliged to send anything. It's just something that I like to do. I like to swap things with my pen pals because I know that they like it and they appreciate it. Um, I have a wall uh, where I put all of the stuff from my pen pals. So I'll often gain inspiration from what they've sent me and send them back a pen uh, a postcard I'll send them a postcard or a picture or little quotes or playlists um because they send them to me I often send tea bags um the little tea bags in pouches like the little aesthetic pouches they're good to send because obviously tea can't escape from the pouch and it's a very aesthetically pleasing in photos if you take pictures of them 
Um, sometimes I'll send face masks, thin candies, like the little bags of Haribo's or um, in Tiger they do the little little bags of um, sort of like popping candy with the sticks in them, um, which are flat. The flatter the better. Um, what else have I sent? I'll send like lace or ribbon samples, paper samples, um, friendship bracelets, jewellery, pins, patches, necklaces, rings. I have um, videos of my collections of things but I'm going to do an updated tour of my uh, craft stuff soon. Uh, I might even just film that next and post it at the same time. Um, so I will go through everything that I have to send to people. Um, but generally I'll send like a sample of three washies. I'll use a little gift tag and wrap them around it or a piece of card. Uh, I'll send a couple of memo pad swatches or paper samples and some stickers uh, and a team bag for my first letters. And then when I get to know the person, if I know that they like face masks I'll send face masks if I like they like candy I'll send candy um if I know that they're really crafty I'll send things from my scrapbooking collection um there's so much you can send the flatter the better but you can send anything honestly just don't be a dick don't be a dick um yeah sometimes I'll fill it with um confetti I don't like to send glitter because glitter gets everywhere it gets in your eyes it gets on your stuff <laughs> and um uh, I personally I don't mind getting glitter, I think it's fun, but I just think confetti is so much easier to clean up. It doesn't get everywhere, it can't harm you, unless you're allergic to everything. Um, so yeah, there's so much you can send, there are so many people you can meet. Um, yeah, I thought I had other questions, but I feel like I don't. Um, yeah, do I feel obliged to send stuff? I don't feel obliged. I force myself to never feel like I have to send anything. It's very hard in this community when you're on Instagram specifically, if you run a large account or if you're competing with accounts, whatever, the way you view it, I don't view it like that. I view it as a family who I just share my creations with. But if you are the competitive type, if you are the self-conscious type, if you really want to make your things stand out on the internet it is easy to become pressures it's easy to think that your feed is wrong or you've taken a bad picture or you haven't sent enough or you don't have good craft supplies most of my craft supplies come from my local craft works poundland w h smith or like even aliexpress is so cheap a lot of my stuff just comes from like bargain bins and hobby craft when they have sales I have a giant craft collection because I was given a lot of it I don't have a lot of money and you do not need to spend a lot to be a good pen pal what people are really looking for is a good connection a nice letter and maybe some extras I just send things because I like to share with people I just happen to have a lot of stuff and they do too um if someone sends less I don't mind sending more back unless it's a swap um but honestly when you get into this community just remind yourself that you don't have to be the best there are a lot of people who have been doing it for a long time have a lot of like disposable craft collections that they can just give away um so that's definitely a problem I've come across like oh my photos aren't nice enough or oh this person sent that and that and that and Sometimes it gets a bit much if you really are self-conscious or if you do have a small craft collection because I there are bigger accounts who sort of show off. There are always going to be people who will act or hire mighty and not accept new pen powers who aren't of a thousand plus followers or whatever. But um, that's just life. It's every community. But this community is honestly one of the best. I've not encountered any of that thus far apart from people who are demanding or scammed me out of a swap um and those are people who I sh was warned about before and should have not just assumed they were lying um but generally it's a great community you're bound to make loads of friends everyone is friends with each other um I'm gonna work on a big uh basically a bank a log of every single 
UK account so that UK pen pals can write to each other because I know a lot of people like to stay within the UK because it's cheaper um, and then hopefully we'll have like a yellow pages for whoever you want to be your pen pal um, but generally speaking it's easy to get into it's especially if you have social media it's easy to get into it's easy to find craft supplies it's easy to love it basically because everyone's so nice it's actually really safe because everyone's sacrificing that tiny bit of privacy you know you give out your address you give out your name you give out your location and everyone does it so it's safe it feels secure the people you get to know are amazing I have some of my best friends through pen palling um yeah so you'll get into it you'll be fine don't feel pressured um and if you have a bad experience, don't let it put you off. It will be one out of a bad bunch. I have about 25 pen pals. I'm aiming to have a lot more. And I've only had one bad experience and a few people demanding me because they knew that like, I would put a lot more effort in than people they've tried before, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I put a lot of effort into my letters because it's my only hobby. Again, if you have more hobbies, don't feel obliged. You can just write a letter and people are perfectly fine with that. I'll receive a letter in the post and reply to it. It won't be crafty, it won't include anything. And I'm perfectly happy with that because all I ask for is a friend, someone I can write to, someone I can share with. And it's fun. It's a bit of fun. That's all it's meant to be. So, yeah. I just don't want to lie to people and say that, like... If you're aiming to be a big pen pal account, it's going to be easy. Or, um, you know, funding it's going to be easy. Like, the majority of it is fun and relaxing. But there are a few things that you should look out for and be cautious of. With any community, with any hobby, that's just how it is. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I really need to make an intro and an outro if anyone wants to make me one. I'm too lazy. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this video and you get into pen palling. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I will leave my personal Instagram link below as well as my blog link. Um, yeah, stay crafty. I keep looking at myself. Wow, the skin is bad. Goodbye.